If you're kneading your pie dough like you're making bread, you're doing it all wrong. It's tempting to work your pie dough until it's soft and pliable and seems like it's really easy to roll out. But that's about the worst thing you can do. Overworking the dough is gonna melt the butter and it's gonna create gluten. That's gonna give you a tough, dense, chewy pie crust. And that's just wrong. Now I'm gonna show you the right way to make a buttery pie crust using chow.com's basic pie dough recipe. First, make sure you have the butter in the refrigerator before you start. Cold ingredients will keep your crust nice and flaky later. Cut your cold butter into small pieces and work that into your flour mixture using a pastry cutter. Don't overwork the dough. Lightly work it until it's about the texture of cornmeal. Next, add enough ice water so the dough just starts to come together. It might be tempting, but do not put extra water in. Only add what the recipe calls for. You just want to be able to gently push the dough together with your hands. Form the dough into a loose ball, wrap it in plastic, and put it in the fridge. Rest the dough for about 30 minutes, and this is an important step not to skip. Resting the dough allows the gluten to relax, and it also lets the water distribute evenly, which is gonna give you a flakier crust in the end. Take the chilled dough out of the fridge, roll it to an even thickness, and put it in your pie pan. Trim off the excess and crimp the edge. Now you have a homemade pie crust ready for your filling of choice. If you've done all these things right, you'll have a buttery, flaky crust, perfect for apple, pecan, pumpkin, any type of pie you want to make for Thanksgiving. For CBS News, I'm Roxanne Weber, Chow.com in San Francisco.